Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel, and in this video, we're going to be installing Zero's minimap and Zero's world map together for Minecraft 1.16.5. That's right, people love minimap mods, and Zero's minimap and Zero's world map combined is pretty much the most powerful minimap you can get in Minecraft. You can set waypoints and stuff like that. You have two types of maps, a minimap and a world map that work together. So that is just perfect. Now, if you don't know how to install it, then this is the perfect video for you, because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to install Forge, which is the mod loader, and then the mods themselves, which are gonna be Zero's minimap and Zero's world map. Of course, before we get started, if you actually like content like this, then be sure to hit that thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button to see more of these kinds of videos pop up on your homepage regularly. If you're looking for a cheap and reliable Minecraft server host, then be sure to check out Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you use the link down below in the description, you indirectly support my channel with every purchase you make over there. And then without further ado, here's how to install Zero's minimap and world map for Minecraft 1.16.5. So let's get started installing the mods. What you're gonna wanna do is actually just open up your browser and look for Forge. A link to all of the things that I use and show you in this video will also be down in the description. So you don't have to look any of this up yourself. So what we're going to do first is, of course, install Forge because that's going to be the base, the foundation that's going to actually load Zero's minimap and world map into Minecraft 1.16.5. So once you're over on this website, you might actually get this privacy notice. You just click accept. And then what you want to do is actually look for 1.16.5 in the left menu right here. Just click 1.16.5. It only has the installer option which if you click it will redirect you to this ad page and then you have to wait five seconds for you to actually be able to proceed to the download page click skip right here then it will download a dot jar installer now if this does not show up well first of all we have to click keep once it finished downloading so once you finish downloading you might see this icon or you might not see this icon well this is the icon you need to see so if you don't that means you either do not have java or you should fix your dot jar file extensions so if you do actually have java you can just do show in folder right click it and then click open with and Java should be right here and you just click that. But if that does not show up and you don't have the Java icon at all, you wanna go over to the first link down below in the description that says Java, and then you will actually find yourself on this page where you have to click agree and start download. Just download and install Java like this. And what you wanna do next is actually try again once that's finished, and then you should be able to open this .jar installer. So once all is good, just click this installer. It should open up this thing right here, the mod system installer. It should be set to the correct settings by default, so you just only have to click OK. Now this actually takes longer than, for example, Optifine and Fabric, so you might actually have to wait like a minute or so, sometimes half a minute, sometimes a minute, depends on your system. And there we go, it says complete successfully installed client profile Forge. So that's that, we now have Forge. But of course, we also want Zero's minimap and Zero's world map. So what we're gonna do, you can just use the download links down below in the description to their direct CurseForge page where it's very easy to download them from. I'm gonna show you, you can just do a quick Google search for Zero's world map or minimap just depends on which one you want to download first. I'm gonna download the minimap first, but also open the world map link real quick because we're gonna need both and they're on similar pages. So just scroll down right here to where it says Minecraft 1.16 and click the one that has the R because that usually means recommended. But in this case, it also means that that is the Forge version. That's the way some creators do it. And the beta version is actually the Fabric one. So if you happen to be on Fabric, you can also use this one. But in this tutorial, of course, we're gonna use the Forge one. So click the download icon right here. This will take five seconds to download. Now we can come over to world map where you do the exact same thing. The R will actually be the forge one. So just click this download icon right here. Once again, another page where we have to wait five seconds before the download will start. There we go. So we now have two files right here where we have to click keep or discard. I just click keep, click keep anyway. Same for this one, keep anyway. Now we do have the two mods and that is actually great because we're almost there. So what you wanna do now is go over to your search bar and type in percent app data percent, hit enter and you will see these folders. At least there should be a dot Minecraft folder. Now all you do is click the dot Minecraft folder, right click somewhere, click new, create a new folder and call it mods, all lowercase, just like that. And then click that folder and drag in the minimap file and the world map file, just like that. 
So that means we now have the world map and minimap mod installed into Minecraft. All we need to do now is actually run Minecraft 1.60.5 with the Forge profile and we're good to go. So you can close your browser, you can close this mods folder window, and you can now open your Minecraft launcher. And as you can see right here, it says Forge 1.60.5 here. Now, if you actually want to allocate some more RAM to Minecraft, which is useful, especially if you're running mods, you just click installations right here. You click the three dots, you click edit, and then scroll down here to where it says more options. Then under JVM arguments, if you actually have to have more than four gigabytes of RAM in your system, let's say you have eight, then you can change this to to four. So anything beyond eight gigabytes, you can actually use six gigabytes of RAM for Minecraft. Don't go beyond that because first of all, you won't notice it. And second of all, you won't need it. So I'm going to set it to 6G. Click save right here. Now we're going to actually launch Minecraft with the mods. So just click play on this one. Now, because this is a modded version of Minecraft that we just installed, you're going to get this warning. You just click, I understand the risks because there aren't that many risks really. It's just basically modded Minecraft and you just click play right here. So here we are Minecraft 1.60.5. I just got this notification that the mods are out of date, which they can barely be because I downloaded them five minutes ago from their official download page. But I'm going to just click don't show again for these updates. And as you can see, we're now in Minecraft 1.60.5. It says a whole bunch of things here, but it also says four mods load. And if we come over to the mods tab right here, it says zero's minimap, zero's world map. So if we actually were to hop into a world, I'm going to just hop into this 1.60.5 world. We should be able to see and use the world and minimap. Here we are. As you can see, we can actually see the minimap. If we click Z or Z on the keyboard, you can actually zoom in and see a bunch of things you can see the yellow dots which i believe are supposed to represent all of the cows that are just wandering around here and the chicken just the mobs and if we click m we'll get a world map that you can zoom in and zoom out on and if we were to set waypoints using b just like this i'll name this point spawn just for the sake of it click confirm now if we walk away from it we can see spawn so now that we've actually walked away from the spawn point right there you can see it shows us the actual distance to this point which is perfect now if we hit m you can also see the spawn point and you can use stuff like shortcuts t to teleport to spawn so these are probably some of the best map mods out there there's a reason they've been downloaded multiple millions of times so that's why i wanted to show you how to install these mods together for minecraft 1.16.5 also because i got some questions about that so I hope that's all settled. I hope this video actually did help you out in installing these mods for Minecraft 1.60.5. So if this video actually did help you out in installing Zero's minimap and world map, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe for more of these types of videos. And then as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya.